All right, so this is the uh, Zodiacs versus Banana Legion War. <laughs> I will be uh, casting. I'm Josh K. Um, um, part of my motivation to do this is to uh, potentially send this in as part of my application to be a caster for MKC. So this is definitely just for fun. Also, just to just to bring some excitement into a war. I know watching it with call or without any audio can be kind of boring. Uh, watching Ethan's perspective today on this war against Banana Legion. Uh, going through all of our war tables in the history of BI, I couldn't find a single match versus BL. So this might this might be the very first time we ever placed ever faced against Banana Legion in a war scrim or tournament. Which that in itself is a little exciting. We've never played them before, as far as I know. Um, dating back all the way to I think July. Uh, I will double check that throughout if I have the chance to. Um, watching Ethan's perspective today uh, on RWS. Uh, Zi guys lineup today: Ethan, Emilio, Laquan, uh, a new trial slash member, uh, Stir, Joe, and Delta. So definitely a mix of old and new Zi today. As you see, uh, Delta rocking the pink gold peach. That's definitely new. Um, and assuming Laquan is using Roy as well. Um, as we get onto that, and I thought Stir was playing, so maybe. He's just uh, representing Lynn. Um, or that could actually be Lynn, I will confirm that as well. Uh, we see somebody in the very back right now backing. Um, not really sure who that is. So they did throw the blue shell though. Um, Banana Legion's lineup being Zeta, Aplex, Joshua, Ruby, Royal, and Pip. Um, to the best of my knowledge. Um, so it should be a good war. Definitely, I think this is definitely a potentially even war. I think VL still has a little bit of the, uh, the advantage. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, you see Amelia holding a star here as Zodiacs in 10 11. Potentially last as well. Last place going to a. a, a never mind, they were underneath. Um, so, yeah, as we round out this first race here in RWS, uh, Zodiacs had great spots to start this race. Top 4 6. Um, but as we see now, they're really a lot of them in the back here. We see Stir as well. So, 8 9 10 and a bomb killing at least two members, Emilio and Ethan. So, assuming that's a BL bomb, that could be a deadly place. Deadly play for BL. And some Waluigi breaking away into first place. Gonna get that win. And we'll see how this starts out. We got the scoreboard with us today, so we'll know the score. Um, so that'd be great. Uh, is Ethan finishing in 11th. Um, but Joe able to hold on to first. So good job for him getting a 1 4 uh, in the top spots for ZI. So that's a big first for Joe and for ZI to start off this war. And. I will confirm this is the first ever matchup between these two teams as Zodiac's up to a four point, four point lead after one. As we have some buffering, hopefully that will go away. And going to their favorite Dragon Driftway track. This is one of definitely Zodex's favorite tracks to go to in a first place situation where they don't have top two. Um, yeah, so the point of me casting this is just to uh, for our members to watch it and then maybe just to, to see my thoughts as we play and also just to show some of my potential as well as a caster, potential caster. Um, I do enjoy watching us play, kind of, you know, taking a step back and being able to watch us play as a team and not actually in the moment makes it Definitely a better chance for me to improve uh, and to see like what we need to work on as a team um, as we fight to probably play in Division 4 this season in MKU um, after a disappointing effort last season in, in, in Division 3. Um, but getting another pick, um, so that's two out of two picks so far for ZI. Starting at 1-4, keep that in mind, we'll see if Joe can complete the NIST successfully or not. Um, we see Joshua BL repping a, a normal peach. So we got pink gold and normal peach in this war. Good to see. And a metal Mario as well. I'm gonna. I'm guessing that's them because Laquan is using Waluigi. Somebody pulling triple greens in pack here, causing hectic. From Banana Legion is Ethan falling off the track. So not not the best play you could have made there. A lot of people like to fail the NISC on this track. So some Waluigi broke away. I'm gonna assume that's Joe. So that's a one one four right now. Is Ethan using a horn early, able to fend off the red. So we have triple greens to watch out in front. Reds watch out. Behind. Behind and he's getting hit. Just overmatched there. As a Waluigi and a Roy are fi fighting an offer first right now. I'm presuming that's Joe in first and a Beyond in second place. 
We see Joshua in fourth for BL. Potentially two, three, four for BL. We did see Milo streaming up there earlier. A lot of separation right now. I know Laquan likes to go for the shock for ZI a lot, so he might be doing that a lot again this war. Yeah, we'll see how we go from here. That's <laughs> Ethan deciding to maybe a little nervous. We'll see. You know, never he's ever been casted in a war before. Only one v ones we like to show. As multiple bills coming up in the front. And so a shock potentially after the bill and last, but other than that, other than that, we don't see a single shock. Um, I will struggle. I do not know who. Uh, Either of these players are in 8th or 10th for, for BL. <laughs> Not having to use the MKC names because it is a scrim. So, having a little fun with that. See if he can make the Nisk here. He does the bill. He's going to use it right away. Smart thing is, Waluigi first place broken away. Second place also a substantial leader for third. And the shock coming in. So, BL got shocked right before boxes. So, that might have even been a BL shock. And I'm going to guess that it was. But Ethan getting the dodge is. He's, you know, oh, because of that second shock, he's not going to be able to pass Royal. I'm guessing that's Royal in second. And so that's going to be 1-3 for, for Zodiacs. Would have been a top 2, but that second shot coming in very clutch for BL. Assuming it was theirs, I'm not actually sure, but that was a 1-3-5-7-9-11, so the spots are exactly staggered, which is about a plus 8, I believe. Uh, we'll confirm that. We had the two shocks coming in at the very last second. One right before boxes, I'm guessing that was a BL shock, and the second one coming in again... Just before the line, after first place finish, so that could have been either one. I'm not sure, but either way, that 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 was a potential. That was a top two there from Zodiac, taken away by that last shock. Either way, a plus eight race and a solid start for Zodiac. Joe on thirty through two, solid work from him, having two very clean runs so far. Uh, Ethan not playing the best individually so far, but still predicting the shock well, assuming it was BL shock. So an early lead for Zodiacs here, as uh, they're going to get their third track pick in a row. Very important um, for them to take advantage of them. So far, they've done that. Uh, and I'm confirming that this is probably, quote unquote, probably the first ever meeting between these two teams, which is hard to believe. We've been around since mid-July. Um, so this is, it's been about five months now. But, hey, you know, there's a lot of teams in this community, so it's, it's good to see us finally meeting up with Banana Legion as Ethan getting the bribe boost right away. Not the ideal start you wanted, getting bumped right away and punished, and he's already in the back, leaving Joe all alone at first. We'll see if they're able to hold it. DKJ, obviously one of the tracks that you want to go for with a 1-3 situation. We tend to do that. Uh, after Dragon being picked already, that's probably our first choice, but I'd say DKJ is our second. Ethan just trying to collect some points, get back up there. Not sure. Like, I mean, Laquan could be back there. Someone's lagging pretty badly. Definitely interested to see, see how the shock comes into play. Definitely, it was pretty neutral last race. I mean, it could have been. It looked like BL had 2 3 before the first shock. And then because of Ethan dodging, he's able to get into second place. So, a shock. I would say those are two pretty neutral shocks. They kind of cancel each other out. Ethan going all the way up to second and losing a spot to third. But leaving Joe some space here to throw the rat was good team play there from ZI. A blue come in. So this has been two and a half races. Joe finally out in first for once. So we'll see how they're able to play from the mid pack. You see a 4 5 for BL. Somebody getting taken out there. But Ethan trimming up. He's forcing his way in. He sees that BL is in a great spot there. And 1 3 with triple nanners in third. Royal trying to go for a big play here. Ethan able to break one of the, one of the nanners, it looked like. But it looks like he took out Emilio. So it's a 1-3 now for BL. Ethan going wide, a cautious at the back here. He needs to hold this spot and not give BL a free top two. So there's a little, little opportunity to pass after the little short right here in the glider. But the failure of a red shell, you, you, gotta, you gotta watch out for Tiki there. A very really big breakaway now for top two. So we'll see who 3-4. Who we see 4. It looks like Joshua, the 4-5 for BL. I'm gonna guess that Roy is also BL, but we'll confirm that later. Ethan losing his focus there, getting backed. And a BL with a 1-3-4 right now. Also with reds. Blue coming in, but it, we'll see if it does any damage. Ethan getting ghosted, and that's the worst time you could get ghosted. At least he didn't get red off the glider, but that's a top 
three five right now for BL. Ethan going around trying to block the reds, but unable to do so. He gets killed regardless, and that looks like a top five, maybe even top six for BL. And wow, what a comeback! What a statement from Banana Legion. And we'll see how that ended up. That could be top six, and it oh, it's a top five twelve. So Joshua taking one for the team. I'm not really sure what happened there because he had. It looked like he had he had red shells in fifth place. They must have gotten taken out by something. But a top five, a huge race for BL, getting themselves back into this war. Went from down 12 plus 16. And Ethan, unable to hold, those top, hold that second place. He got back, lost his focus for just a second there. Didn't go wide for that back. And because of that, he's you know he paid the price. It cost the team a ton of points. He figured he had a decent chance of getting second place. Maybe even first with the blue shell coming in. Um, but because of that... BL takes a 16-point lead after three. So that is a 28-point race, I believe. Let me make sure. Yeah, minus 28 for ZI there. Uh, going to Dry Dry Desert. But getting a track pick again, it looks like. So four for four for track picks. And we'll see uh, if Ethan's going to bag or not, because this is always always a fun one. Surprised he didn't go cheese, to be completely honest. But regardless, they find themselves down 16. Not a bad start, though, for, for Zodiacs. I definitely, you know, I would say that we're definitely a little bit of the underdog in this war. Not too much. Not It's neither team's strongest lineup, but... As yeah, working with the new trials as well, trying you know with Laquan, Laquan in lineup today, um, and you know definitely a mixed bag lineup for our side. As you see, Joe and Ethan on the running side here for for Zi. Yeah, that was a fun one. Um, you know, you can't really, you can't really, you know, you're not gonna know what's going on with only one perspective. Ethan deciding to slow down. Probably smartly so. We'll see. I don't know who's in first. I'm guessing it's a BL top two, but I could be wrong. First shot coming in very early. And I'm not sure where that came from. I I know ZI likes to use shocks early. And so that definitely could have been theirs. Blue shot coming in as well. So we'll see, Ethan pulling a nice pull in 5th place, a 5th place golden, but that's not a dodge, and the odds of getting a 2nd shock are pretty high, considering how early that 1st shock was. ZI yeah, having 3 players in the front, some players absolutely gone in 1st right now. But Ethan with a great pull now, the star in pocket is exactly what you want. Can able to do the golden strat and potentially dodge, depending on who's back there. We see pink and gold peach there, that is Laquan I'm pretty sure, uh, for Zodiacs. Ethan going for that for that lap three golden strat. I'm gonna try to break into this top two here. Something he couldn't do successfully on DK and it cost his team into a top five for BL. But an, an early red coming in, forcing Ethan to his star now. Uh, second shock is still very much a possibility as we see triple reds. It looks like in third. And a one three four now. ZI Z definitely gonna need a shock or something. And a bomb coming in. Ethan unable to do anything about it. And BL coming with with a with a bill as well, so top four with shrooms, and this is not looking good for ZI. There's really nothing they could do now. Ethan has a ghost, but he would have liked to have that in first pocket because he's not gonna be able to do much after taking the cut here. And he looks like he's gonna break their top three, but that's about it. It's a top three, five, six, it looked like for BL. And that is absolutely devastating race for Zodiacs. After that shock, there was really nobody up there for ZI, and they paid the price. I'm sorry, that's Delta that's uh in the in the pink gold. Peach. But either way, a huge race again for for BL, and I know they have, they have the momentum now for sure. As we hope, as I am biasly rooting for ZI in this war, if you can imagine. I hope we can uh, break this momentum just a little bit. And that's a minus twenty four race. So back to back huge races for for BL, taking a first GP lead of forty points. Um, I wouldn't say that's too bad, but I would say the over-under for this war would be about 40. So can can ZI keep it there? Can they come back a little bit? We will find out. Uh, very momentum-based team. I know that we are. We like to ride momentum and get a lot of good races, but that can also come to hurt us. Uh, if you know you have bad races in a row, it can sometimes be very difficult to come out of that, especially as emotions start running high. 
Ethan, I, I, I don't, I don't disagree with any of his playstyle decisions there. I think he did the best he could. Other than avoiding that bomb from one, I think he could have made more of an effort. He was probably thinking about shock or about where his teammates were, and then he, he just he didn't react quick enough at all to avoid that bomb before the boxes on lap three. But ZI getting their fifth track pick in a row, so that's something you don't see every day. Only a one out of thirty-two chances of us getting all five tracks picks. Track picks. According to in the, my insider information, ZI yeah, having some bad communication with that shock. It was Delta's first shock, it looked like, in that on a dry dry, but it did not work out. As you see, Ethan now trying to run Cheese Land. One of my favorite things to do, to be honest. It's such a fun track to run. It's just so fun to drive, I think. And you can have some success. There's some big cuts at the end, but with some right team playing and the right shock, you know, it could work out. Getting a nice back, although it is Cheese Land. So in reality, who really won? We'll see. As you see, about five runners followed by seven baggers. No one in the middle. Blue Shell coming in early. And that could have easily easily bad blue from either team as you know we like to just chuck blues on this track doesn't really matter uh, Ethan getting redded not stopping again for another box to be a, I'm a little surprised to see that because he's gonna be punished for that with the red he doesn't have really any good items but the player in second place also slowing down someone in first and a ghost now pretty decent lead Ethan tries to cut in into that top two assuming but that could be Joe as well in first we did see him kind of pass by the first set as Ethan getting that red to lag break so that was so big if that had been lap 3, it would have been even bigger, but it didn't matter because there's a second red. There's always a second red. Ethan now considering stopping, and he's going to do so. And he knew that. That had to be a ZI shot because of Ethan slowing down there. And pulling a bill. So do you, you spam the bill or do you wait for the extension? And he looks like he's going to be waiting for extension here. So we see Emilio with 5th place bill as well. And Delta in 2nd place coming up fast. So that could be a top 2 for ZI. I'm not really sure if I was right about Joe being in 2nd. We're about to find out in a minute. We could see a top 4 right now for ZI. BL actually in 4th with greens, but now... Yeah, that is a top four. So ZI off to the races now with powerful items. We would assume behind these bills for both Emilio and De and Ethan. Delta in first place, triple shrooms. So we have triple shrooms top three right now. Barring no ghosts, no shocks or reds, we could see an easy top three for for Zodiac. As Emilio's gonna have to dodge the blue here on the ramp, able to do so. Ethan smartly winning outside. That's a top three, a very clean top three. Unless e unless Emilio failed the blue dodge, which he might have. I thought it was lag at first, but I could be wrong. Oh, it didn't matter, it's a top four, so Emilio failing the dodge, that could have been a top five for Zodiacs, but a huge race for them, answering answering the, the bad races that happened on DKJ and Dry Dry, so a huge response from Zodiacs, as this war got a lot tighter. That's a 20-point differential right there, and now ZI cuts the lead in half, from 40 down to only 20 down. So that's a big race. Definitely a Zodiac shock there, and two players pulling bills, Emilio and Ethan. That's huge. You'd like to see that. And so yeah, that was a good shock. Um, it was, I can confirm that that was a ZI shock. Coming in. Could have been a top 5 Emilio failing the, the blue dodge on the ramp there. That's kind of funny. And those points you know, could come back to bite them. Um, I'd say that's the first throw we've seen. Um, as Laquan repicking, but it didn't matter as BL getting their first track pick of the day. The game is always fair. Getting bone dry dunes. Yeah, so we'll see if ZI can string a couple races together. I find this to be an interesting pick with a top four start for ZI. Yet they're going for bone dry dunes. So we'll see if if the drafts can work in BL's favor. I, I you could definitely you know, I would presume that ZI can get some drafts here too if Ethan can play this right with Delta. Unable to get that first draft. We see Joshua already up. Here. Getting a second draft, but not doing much. Opting not to trail with the BL member right behind him, but decides to now. Going a little slow, missing the trick on purpose, I would assume. As Royal pulls up with the red, Delta looking like he's going, he got pushed wide. So now first place, Royal taking over for first place, well done from him. But Ethan going to red is probably his only defense out. As it's definitely a little bit of a laggy red, and it's still going. But you have to assume it's going to hit. And Ethan trying to horn him, but he has no idea where he really is. And yeah, so that didn't work out. But the 2-3 going into lap 2 now for Zodiacs. Getting hit, though. And we see a very mixed front. So this is looking like an even race. Ethan kind of failing a little bit. Going for a snipe and getting it on Joshua. So that kind of makes up for it a little bit. Well done, Ethan. 
We'll see, we'll see now. The pack not too spread out, but a shock definitely possible. I would say that all Legion last is certainly in shock range if he wants it. Ethan going for the coins or not? Just, just, just avoiding the, just, just avoiding everybody. As there's a bill also he has to worry about. Ethan going to slow down here. It looks like a bottom two now for Zi with, with Stir or Lin in eleventh. Using the bill immediately, and a bot that's bottom four. So Zi's top four flipped very quick. As you saw, BL got into the front right away. Pulling the blue shell as well, so BL is set for a top three, it looks like. The pink old peach, though, Delta in third. So Delta holding on to third place for ZI right now. A top two for BL. Third place is very broken away from fourth, though. So it's going to be all up to Delta to break that top three. You know, you can see the shortcut being used at the end. Delta could break into second or possibly first if he does it right. As we see, triple reds in sixth, fourth and fifth. One member of either team. And Ethan not using his ghost and paying the price. Didn't want to use his ghost. Maybe his teammate had a shroom and ended up getting redded by Laquan. As he pulls a star, but he's not going to have enough juice to get through the cut, I don't think. Oh, he does. So that's a 10-12, that's a but it looked like a top two for sure for BL. Delta holding on to third. A 3-5-7-8-10-12 for ZI. So the momentum did not carry into the next race. And they lost it almost right away. Ethan not getting that early draft, which definitely could have helped. And uh, not not able to hold on. Delta getting absolutely shoved out of first. Uh, as you see the scores, and that's a minus 16 race. So another big response from BL. So it's four straight races of 16 point difference or more. As the uh, unable to string together a couple of good races. And they, they kind of lost that one early on, like right away, I feel like. And, and now halfway through, they're down 36. Which is not, you know, it's not bad. You know, they made up four in the last two races, technically. So we'll, we'll see if they can respond again. Or, you know, are they going to give up another big race? I think if this next race is tied, that'd be a success, I would say, for ZI. Um, getting their pick on, on Animal Crossing, so that's, that's their six out of seven picks. Which is big. As you played six, um, shout out to Joe for going in. Fifty-seven points after six. I'm not a big Indiv fan, but that's pretty solid. We saw him got two. He got first place in the first two races, leading to two wins uh, in the first two races on Mario Stadium and Dragon Driftway. We had Dak is always an interesting track. One of our favorite baggers, kind of like a soft mid bagger. We definitely have had some historical races on this track. Um, I remember in season well, two seasons ago in MKU, our first MKU season, we played. One of our, I think our first MKU win week was game three. We had a huge race on this track to win it. And so definitely some magic is possible on this track for sure. Interesting to see the bagging strats now. as some BL slowing down here. I didn't get a glimpse of who's in last, but it looks like it's Laquan. So a bottom two right now. Two baggers for ZI and only one for BL. And the BL bagger not staying as far back as ZI is. So we presume the advantage of going to ZI right now to pull the shock. But you also have to execute it well. And it looks like we might have, uh, Is that a shock? No, it's not. It's a bill. So we got bills in 10 11 right now. Ethan unable to pull it. Running into a banana. Potentially you planned that. <laughs> we'll go with that. You see Delta in third, but look, I'm gonna guess the top two right now for uh, for Banana Legion. As Ethan in the shroom trap right now, unable to do anything. Bottom three now for ZI, and things are looking very, very bleak for them this race. And getting team killed left and right, Ethan. My triple reds on bone dry, and then triple greens here on Dak. He's an absolutely suiciding for it now, and at this point, you know, you're desperate, and it's just, it's a tough situation to be in. They do pull the shock, so we'll see if this is able to salvage anything for Zi. Not using it right away, but he dodges with the shock, so somebody in Zi had the shock, and so there's going to be a second one coming up. This could be definitely good. We saw two shocks on, on Dragon that looked like they'd come from either team. Didn't see two on on dry dry, but now we will see how this. Second shot is in the play. We're gonna assume it's right before the boxes, and yep, getting that top two after the after the ramp. So if they're able to pull shrooms, this could be a, could be a, a decent race for ZI at the worst. As a huge, very tight finish. So Ethan pulling the shock, doing all he could. As you see Joshua getting eleventh, but BL still holding on to a top three. So ZI unable to break it. They were just too far behind, and you know, too far behind. Two shocks can't even do it, and just a lap on D on the Animal Crossing. So. That's unfortunate race for ZI going down even further now in this war with just five to go.
we'd like to see them get into the front. They lost the front right away on, on Bone Dry and on Animal Crossing. They haven't really had front presence since Dragon. And honestly, ever since that um that back on DKJ, you think getting back top three, they have had no front presence, I feel like. Having only one good race after the top two. So that's an 18 point loss. So despite having six out of seven tracks picks track picks. Zodiacs find themselves down 54 with five to go. We've made comebacks of similar sorts. Um, but I, I don't see it happening now. I, I feel like going for MKS is kind of a desperate pick as well. Which is something they would need. I, I feel like they would have more success. But they, just, they need to get in the front. That's the thing. I think that's one of our weaknesses as a team. We don't get in the front enough. But get another pick. So MKS coming up. This is a big race now. If they can get any sort of win on this, have a GP left of under 50 would be something. But if it's 60 plus with one GP, that's that's just a lot to ask for. So we will see if they're able to do something here. MKS always an interesting track to to bag on because there's really only one small shortcut which anyone can do anyway. So it's really it's an interesting track. You can get TS for sure. You see Stir and Ethan starting off in the back. Early bottom three for ZI, and this is not what I meant by getting front support. It is MKS though, so we'll see if that if it matters in the end. Ethan really wanting that shock right now. I really, we have no idea who's in the top three or top five right now, but the odds are that it's not ZI considering they have bottom three at the moment. They still have bottom three. Ethan going to pull a bill here into into tenth or eleventh. You see one BL member back here, but that's it, and Stir saying way back now, certainly going to be the shot guy for this point. Will Ethan hold the bill, or will he use it to get up a little bit? If he holds it, he's really going to be banking on a shot coming. But you could also, you know, pull a dodge after the bill, but he's too close to people where he get dropped off, he wouldn't be able to pull a dodge, he'd be too close at first. Using the bill here, though. So now the top 11 are in a, kind of a cluster, whereas 12 is in dead last, we see this, the blue shot coming out, so presumably BL in first. So again, and the team of this war, Zodiac's unable to get the front support they need. That's fire from Joshua coming in, killing Quan and Delta, it looked like. Ethan able to skate by, though. As you see, Joe about to get ready here, needs to pull out his red, I don't think he did. Emilio having triple greens, and he gets sniped by Royal. So Royal snipes Emilio, but so only a second place right now. We see a 1 3 4 now for BL. A lot of players swimming up, and Ethan getting fired, unable to pull his bin head out in time, but the bomb back both of BL's members. So it looks like Royal back. Back two of his own teammates with that bomb, thinking that Ethan wouldn't get fired there. And that's going to be costly. Another bomb, though, too. It didn't matter. Royal just pulls another bomb. Unbelievable. That is calculated. That was absolutely calculated. Ethan going from second to last in a snap of a finger. Still decent spots, though, for ZI. I mean, you know, 2 3 6, and that bottom three is going to kill him. But it would have been a 2 3 4. 2 3 4 7. It would have been. But now, so Royal bombing his teammates, but maybe that was just a decoy because he knew he had a second bomb, smartly placing it right after the shortcut, making up for his first bomb mistake. And so a big play from Royal there after making a mistake. And ZI again, unable to pull up in the front spots. You saw Royal sniping Ethan, or sniping Emilio, somebody sniping Emilio, and then whoever was in first bombed. I, I'll be honest, I don't really know the, the BL uh, names right now, so I guess I assume everyone's a Royal, which I know isn't the case. Um, but some players sniping Emilio. So a good play there, and then some other player backing his teammates, but then backing Ethan on the line. So that's a 12 point, 12 point loss there, and now after two GPs, ZI finds himself down 66 points, with just four to go. Hope looking even smaller now. After a really good start, they've only won one race since the second race. They've won race one, two, and five. That's three straight losses in of 12 points or more. And again, the momentum, they just can't get in the front. And now, now TikTok, one of Royal's best tracks, probably a strong track for BL as well. As BL starting 1-4. So we'll see if Delta and Stir can break that top, that first place. That, that's something that, that's what we need to look out for here. Ethan, though, not going to let us look out for that after he burns out. <laughs> Perhaps it was planned. I'd imagine Ethan's a little bit tilted after that, after that bomb here on, uh, on MKS. But an early 10 and 12 for BL, so we'll see, you know, Delta in 8th it looked like, so he did not break into the top 2. So that was not well done. Is he 10-11 now for, for Zodiacs? 
as at this point they, they're gonna need something big. I just I don't want to see Ethan back here, but he he is and trying to out bag the the BL member here. He used the ghost. Gonna get rid of an eleven. That's your favorite thing about this game. And so we'll see. We'll see a lot of separation. You see Delta back in third, but I'm gonna presume it's Royal in first. But we really don't know. Or some BL member, I would say. Is Ethan bagging on a front running track? So definitely hard to cast this kind of situation. Um, I guess I can talk about our recent uh, Amplify run. We uh, we had a successful group stage, I guess. Is Ethan pulling shock? So that definitely adds to the equation. Uh, we were paired with Arcadia, which obviously we were not expecting to win that match, and we didn't. Uh, we got eight VA was our only other somewhat contender. We were able to beat them um, by a little bit. I remember it wasn't as big of a win as we would hope for, but we were able to go 3-1 and one in our group stage matches, making it into the gold bracket, where we had a very disappointing uh, turnout, where we were, let's see, the shot coming in now, so the comeback's coming right now, but yeah, we played uh, RK, RK won, their first team in the first round, we lost to them pretty badly, and then we played IF second team, I think that's Inkling Fingers, I mean, it was a relatively close war, but they pulled away from us, and our run was over, so we have not, to ha we have not had a big tournament win in quite a while. This would be some. This would definitely be a good win for us, but unfortunately, uh, it's currently not looking good. Minus six to six after, with four to go, and we'll see how that stock did. I didn't really pay too much attention to that, and it, it is not actually not bad. BL bottom three. That's a two, three, five, six, eight, nine for Zodiacs. So not a bad. That's actually it's going to be their first win of a race since race five, going from six to six down, and we'll see what they're at now. So that, now that adds a little bit, a glimmer of hope. That's a 10 point win for Zodiac that race. They're down 56 to 3 to go, which is quite a lot. They're going to need 20 point races, of which they've only had one on Cheeseland. Uh, they're going to go for a drafting track now with, I think, 2, 3, 5, 6 were their spots, I believe. You think going to switch to the, to the trusty. No, not even Street. This is Scooty. Interesting. Yeah, and season three of uh, or no, not season three, but division three of MKU is also a disappointing run for us. Uh, we've since made some additions and some drops to the team. Um, Bry leaving the team, Italic leaving the team, two of our stronger players from the past. Um, so our core foundation, you know, still existing, definitely. Uh, Ethan, Miles, myself, Hydro, Emilio, all in the core. Um, and then some new additions. We have Stir for the coming season. We have Delta for the upcoming season. Um, two two good additions, in my opinion. And we'll see, you know, how, how they're able to blend in together. As we're still trying to figure out what our best lineup would be for, for the season. Uh, we definitely have some disagreements there between some of our staff members of, you know, who our best lineup is going to be. But we'll definitely see. Definitely, there's definitely some, posi some positive vibes going on around the clan, despite some bad tournament performances. Uh, we definitely, America's Cup getting into the silver bracket was definitely not ideal for us. Um, we, we missed out on many chances to get some quality matches in that bracket. But yeah, back to the race. We see a bottom three right now, very far away from the rest. We assume at least one of those is a ZI member. Yeah, a lot of BL back here. I feel like in mid spots, five, six, seven right now for for Zodiacs. Four, five, six, seven potentially. BL Joshua in fifth now. As the top, as the bottom three are still very separated. And Ethan could go from some deadly snipes right now if he wants. He gets one, nice, getting the trail on the BL member, but a pl Joshua planting Laquan. So now 2-4 for Zodiacs looks like. Not sure who's in first, but they're pretty far ahead. Ethan missing that back, but a good attempt though. Trying to avoid the fire and doing a very good job at doing so. That's a very easy spot to fire somebody. So well done from Ethan there. I'm going to get the red as well, so a double punishment there. Well played from Ethan, absolutely dominating that BL player there. Holding on to a fourth place. 2-4 still, I'll just assume that's Joe in second. In the first place, if that was Stir, that would be something big for Zodiacs, but they're going to need something because we see Delta in 11th place. We see a lot of Bills and Stars coming up, as you'd expect. Triple Red so for ZI. As he's going to have to avoid these Bills, as one from each player, each team coming up in the Bill. Ethan hitting that banana, though. As you, you definitely saw it. I saw it for sure, but the Red Shell unable to block it. Backing Joshua, though, so in the Blue Shell coming in, so this could be good. As some player dropped, though, so that could be Joe taking the Blue. We'll see. We see, we see BL 3 4 with fire. Ethan gonna have to go for some snipes. He gets one. Oh, he gets two. He gets both the snipes. That's it. That was a great play. Ethan playing absolutely solid Mario Kart right now, except for throwing another banana. 
And we'll see, is that a top four? I, I think BL would held on to first, but we're gonna find out. There's a late shot coming in, Delta gonna get last. Or maybe 11th. And that's the top five for Zodiacs, top five, 12. That is what exactly what they needed, statement absolutely made. And I, so yeah, that blue was huge. The blue came in, it looked like it hit two BL members, and then Ethan getting those two clutch snipes on the turn before the glider. And so that's exactly what they needed. Going now with two races to go, Zodiacs goes from down 56 to, I'm going to guess, around 20-something. And yeah, Ethan, despite running on that banana on the, on the ramps there before the eel, I thought that was going to be the end of it. I'm honestly, he ran into it and a stupid banana. It was a kind of a gift, though, because he was able to back able to back Joshua before the eel and then take his triple greens and hit two BL members right after the boxes. And that's absolutely massive as they go from minus 56 to minus 28. That's a 28 point race, cutting the lead in half. And with two to go, there is hope. The hope is still alive. All the momentum now on Zodiac's side. They were down 66 with four to go, cut that lead to 56 and now to 28. And after 10 races, Zodiac has gotten eight track picks out of 10. And we're going to make it nine. And we are going to make it. That's nine out of 11 track picks now for Zodiac. So. Trying to take advantage of that, getting a huge win on, on TikTok and DS. So now bringing us 28 points. And now a top five start on RMP. Can they hold the top spots? That's huge for us right now. Drafts are huge. They can work to our advantage, but they can also work to our disadvantage. As we need to get some drafts. We need to... And Ethan needs to draft up. But that is not exactly what you needed. So again, Ethan not going to let us watch the front support as the top four, five becomes a top four. Ethan go go for some coins. So already, Ethan taking himself out of this race, absolutely throwing. That's disappointing. We wanted to see the action in the front because this is huge. It's just two to go in this war. And see Delta pulling all the way up in the second place. It looks like from last. So that's big. We could it could still be a top three for for ZI. We'll see. But a bottom two for Stir also getting knocked out. So two of their top five already knocked out, and that is not what you want to see from Zodiac's side. They had one job, unable to do it for these two, but they could have top three. We'll see about that. But a bottom two for sure. Emilio also getting knocked out, so that's another member of their top five. So that's three of the five original players are not even close to the top after one lap. But we see a lot of BL mid packs. They they could have top two. We see we see Delta the Pinkle Peach in first, but Joe getting hit out as well. So presumably it looks like a, a one five. Yep, a one four. And confirming a one four for Zi. As you think, gonna hold this ghost here. Use it strategically, I would assume. Yeah, watch the boomerang. Able to deliver the hit on Joshua, though, so 1-3 now. But Delta failing, it looked like. So now, giving, giving the Spanish BL member a free first place right now. So Zodex did an absolutely terrible job of holding that top spot. Ethan unable to block the red. He took a very curved line, I have to be fair. But now Ethan probably going to get ready here. Somebody getting ready here. Triple res as well for Joe. Unable to... Or, uh, it wasn't Joe, but it was. I don't know who that was. And so, a very... Badly, very poorly done race now for Zodiacs, and I feel okay to say that being they're on my t they're my team. So you can't burn out top five, and you know, at this point now they're just scrambling down 28 with two to go. They're gonna need to cut the need at least an eight point race to make it a 20 point difference. But Ethan unable to do anything right now is an eight nine ten presumably last place as well. Ethan just running into the note. You can't do that. You have to go around it, buddy. Ethan pulling the shock and spamming the crap out of it. But Ethan going to get, and yeah, it looks like a, a bottom three at the very least. Able to pass one BL member, but not a good race at all for Zodiacs there. And it's a 1367 bottom two, actually. So that was not ZI in last. So that was not as bad as I thought it was. So I guess I was a little harsher there than I needed to be. But yeah, that's just disappointing. You have all the momentum, you have the front running track you need, and you can't hold spots after half a lap. That's just, you know, you burn out, and, and obviously there's a lot of bumps in that turn, but we're not, we're not, we're not able to see any of it because Ethan takes himself out of the race right away by burning out. And it's just hard to mentally recover from that sometimes, knowing that you uh, you have you have that chance to break away and establish an early lead, but they're unable to do so. And that ends up being a tied race. So with one race to go, Zodiacs, we are down 28 points against BL with one to go. So after that, all the momentum is kind of killed. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a dagger. You know, it wasn't the dagger of a race. You know, BL could have ended the war there, but instead, Zodex hanging around, and we're going to be playing Toad Harbor. So that's three track picks 
for BL to 9 for Zodiacs. But we'll see if you know see if see if ZI can do anything here. They look like we got two three. Two three potentially fifth as well. A lot of scooties in this room. Laquan getting off to a bad start. There, you know, you, do do you go for the shock here? I definitely consider it. Um, Ethan kind of failing the NIST, not gonna go for but he's gonna stun out for the coins, it looks like. Not really sure what the heck he's doing. And I'll be completely honest. In all my time playing Mark Gate Deluxe, which has only been about eight months, I've never gone that top round on Toad Harbor. I knew it existed from MK8, but I've actually never played it in this game. So thank you, Ethan, for showing us that. But there is one more important thing to think about. That's you know the fact that they're trying to win this war. Ethan getting a trail, but at what cost? At what cost, Ethan, was that? Gonna stop for the double and almost not get it, but he does. And Ethan now in absolute desperation mode now. Only stealing a coin with that ghost. Not what you'd like to see. No. ZI in a very, very tough spot. They're going to need at least a top 3, probably top 4 at 28 points. And it's tough considering they have like only one front support it looks like with Delta in 3rd. Potentially Stir up there as well. He got 3rd last race. So Ethan pulling a dodge, so if a shock is, is, is pulled here by ZI, it could be, could be advantageous. But they're going to need something very soon. Not much time left in this race. Only about a lap and a third. The bomb hitting two players, but Ethan able to get the dodge still. Ooh, he probably almost he probably he almost missed that dodge there. He probably in the mid countdown, but he's able to get the dodge. So we're going to assume that's a ZI shock. But we're not sure now. As, we pull, as Ethan pulls up into third, he's going to have to red one of the BL members here. And he does so. Pulling in a second, we don't know who's in first right now, but it's going to have to be ZI if they want any chance at first. We see a lot, a lot of Xanders up here, but getting the bomb snipe is Troida. So good play from, from Troida, but 2-3-4 now regardless. If that's a first place ZI, that's huge, but blue coming in. Ethan avoiding the greens as best as he can, but no item now, and he still has to avoid one more game from Royal behind him. He's able to do so, but at what cost? He lost, lost that position. And who's in first now? That's the question, because we could see a top 3-5-6 from ZI, but if, if VL's in first, it doesn't matter. So we're going to assume that's a ZI in first, we're going to hope it's a ZI. As Ethan, going to have to finish this race strong, not getting the greatest pull, and he's unable to avoid the, the red, and he's going to be getting 10th place at best now, and that's going to cost him an absolutely ton of spots. He could have had 6, but he drops a 10th, we see BL back here, Is, was that a top 3-5? I don't know. It's a 1-3-4-7, so unfortunately not going to be enough for ZI. Definitely put up a good fight. Um, unfortunately, you know, unable to hold on to first high race after the shock. Um, so guy pulled a lot of shocks this race. They pulled one on on Dragon, which helped them. They pulled one on on Cheese, which helped them get a huge race on Cheese. And on Dolphin Shoals as well. And in here, but unfortunately, that is not going to be enough. That's at least four shocks I can think of. But B Zodiac's losing to BL in their first ever meeting between these two teams by 22 points. It was a well-fought war. They actually won the third DP by um, 44. 46, I believe. 44 points. So it's a really good third GP. But the damage came in, in race 3 4, back to back, minus 28, minus 24 on DKJ and Dry Dry. And then losing again, race 6, 7, 8, Bone Dry Dunes, DAC, and MKS. And so those street stretches of losses are just too much to overcome. Uh, my thoughts on the war I think that. I think Ethan a, did a really solid job. A lot of the time with items on Dolphin Shoals, you saw he had some huge hits. Um, what really cost him was burning out a couple of times. He burned out on TikTok, he burned out on RMP, taking himself out of the top five right away, and I think that's that's huge. Uh, they lost definitely lost a lot of their uh, their spots as for from that, and especially on that race, losing a lot of front support. They lost the front support on Bone Dry Dunes. They lost it on on uh, RMP. So Bone Dry Dunes and RMP, two races that they played after having a big win. And not having a good race, so those are that's definitely the thing that they, that we should work on is being able to hold those top spots, not getting broken into so easily. Um, but thank you very much for watching this cast. Um, I, I definitely enjoyed just watching through, giving some of my thoughts on the team and and some of our you know situation coming up this season and the next MKU season and on our new roster and talking about our history and some of our past tournaments. I uh, hope you enjoyed as well. And uh, any feedback we definitely be appreciated. Um, thank you for watching.
And unfortunately, not going to have an interview today. Just um, I have to go, unfortunately. So not going to have time for an interview. But thank you all for watching uh, this war. ZI almost beating BL. Maybe next time we'll beat them in our first ever matchup between these two teams.